I didn't think I wanted, I, didn't, I don't know if I thought I wanted to be a writer or not. I remember wanting to be an actor, um, which was fine, except that I, I went to this kind of old-fashioned all-boys uh, elementary school in New York City. And the theater program there, in the tradition of all-boys schools, you know, from time immemorial, would put on these plays with boys cast in the male and female roles. And they turned out to be just these like humiliating fiascos. You get kind of like, you know, eight-year-olds in drag performing the tales of Br'er Rabbit for an audience of frankly, utterly horrified parents. And so s somewhere in that, in that, uh, in that disaster, I think my, my, my ambition to become an actor kind of vanished. <laughs> If this is what acting is, I think maybe I'll stay at home. Um, and I didn't write, I didn't write continuously, you know, at all. Um, I'd write a story here, I'd write a story there. I remember both my father and my stepmother starting to write fiction and beginning to take themselves seriously as writers. I remember them conferring about their writing. They would show each other their work and have these conferences. And I felt, you know, very, uh, not excluded, but I felt a little like, oh, I, I want in on this. Um, I remember impressing my stepmother because I wrote so quickly, you know, because like when you're like 10 or 12, you, you just sit down and, you know, your story about, uh, you know, robots and dragons just comes right out, and, you know. 20 pages later, you know, you look up and an hour has passed. And, you know, and of course she was writing something very serious and involved and she thought, well, how can you, how can you be doing this?